All right. So universal law of gravitation, we could actually have the formula for this as Fg or the force of gravity between two objects is equal to the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the first object times the mass of the second object divided by the square of the distance that separates m1 and m2. Now, since this is the force of gravity, what would be the unit of the uh, gravitational force of attraction? Anybody? Anybody? What's the unit of the force of gravity or the gravitational force of attraction? Yes? Newton. Very good. It's Newton because it's force after all and the unit of force is Newton. So... Just like in question number one, it's asking for what is the magnitude of the gravitational attraction between them. This question is simply asking for Fg and the unit of Fg should be Newton. So do not forget to write the unit for the answer. So as you solve problem number two, you must have the formula, substitution, and answer with unit. Um, the first question on slide 46 is fairly easy. However, it's the second question that I would like to give a stress um, on. Now, it says here that two objects having a mass of m are separated by a distance r exerts a gravitational force f on each other. What is the new gravitational force if the mass of one of the objects is doubled as well as the distance between the two objects? So to answer questions like this, we always begin with the formula. So the formula of our gravitational force of attraction is Fg is equal to G m1 m2 over r squared. So both objects have a mass m. So if we substitute our value, so that's going to be equal to, let me just write below. Or if we substitute our um, variables that are being mentioned in this problem, the masses of the object is m, so I'm just going to have m and m over, separated by a distance r, square, and the gravitational force is f. So now, what is the new gravitational force if the mass of one of the object is doubled as well as the distance between them? So meaning to say, we double one of the masses and we also double the distance between them. So this is how we're going to apply the condition in the problem. So I will have G. I will double one of the M. So I'm going to have 2M multiplied by M divided by R or 2R squared. Don't forget to put 2R inside the bracket because if you only do this way, if you only do this, that's going to be wrong because this means that the square only belongs to the R. That's not the case in this problem. We are actually going to square 2R. So it should be written like this. And as we simplify this, we will have 2G M M over 4R squared. Any questions so far? No, Mr. All right, I hope Mr. this... How yes? become two, two R squared? Say that again, how? How R squared become two, two R squared? Because it says here that we are doubling the distance between the two objects. We double the mass as well as the distance between them. So that is why our R... This R right here, this R has been doubled. So that's why we have 2R. And one of the masses has been doubled, that's why we have 2M. Is that clear? Uh, yes. Okay, any other questions before I proceed with the rest of the solution? Alright, let me proceed now. So, let, so now I could rewrite uh, this equation... So I will simplify 2 and 4. I will have 1 half. And take note that your G 
m times m over r squared is in fact equal to our f. It's actually this. So that is just equal to our f as shown in this equation. Then I could just write f or simply our final answer is one half of f. Therefore, our new fin our answer is f over 2 or 1 over 2 f. This is now the answer to the question, the new gravitational force. New gravitational force. Any questions? Any questions, gentlemen? All right, if you don't have any, then you have 10 minutes to input your answer to four, slide 46. Do not forget to tap on please check.